is Ruth Rowland talking to you about shuffle bowing, sometimes called Nashville shuffle or Tennessee shuffle. Shuffle bowing is basically a pattern of a long bow and two short bows. I say big, little. And you see there are two bows for the little, big, little, because little has two syllables, so it makes two sounds. It might help you to say the name of the bow direction. So down, little, up, little. And if you're new to this instrument, you might want to just practice that pattern on an open string uh, or even on your shoulder or shaking hands with somebody. I like to do this in the upper half of the bow from the where my arm makes a square with the bow and the, the violin to the tip. That's the upper half. A single open string. Let's do eight. I'll count you in. One, two, ready, play. Getting the hang of it. On the littles, make sure your wrist is very soft. The big bow is my impulse and everything else is a rebound. Down, rebound, up, rebound, down, rebound, up, rebound. Um, so, um, and you can just try it in the air and, and watch your wrist wiggle back and forth. Uh, or you can do the same thing while while you're bowing on your shoulder. Make sure you're wearing a shirt if you bow on your shoulder because we never want the bow hair to touch skin. Skin has nice oils in it that will make the bow hair dirty, okay? Um, so watch your, watch your wrist, feel your wrist, and make sure it's nice and loose. Now let's try double strings. Let's play the rhythm on the E and A strings. One, Two, ready, play. Good. Now the D and A strings. One, two, ready, play. Now let's try a finger. When you put a finger on the string, that changes the way the string feels. Uh, the higher you are, the tighter the string is. So it's important to try the bowing with fingers before you try a piece. I'm going to put my second finger on the A string. Um, a, put the first finger a space away from the nut, and the second finger a space away from it. So this is C sharp. One, two, ready, go. might have noticed a little dig on some of the notes. Uh, if we think of the rhythm as pie, apple, pie, apple, I was biting the apple, thus sinking my bow into the string, and then releasing and playing at the same time. Um, like this. It's kind of a characteristic Thing to do with this shuffle bowing, uh, put a little accent on what's called the offbeat. Now we're going to do a tune on a single string. We're going to play Boil and Cabbage. We'll start on that C sharp that we were just playing on, two and A. If you don't know the tune already, don't worry. I'll play it in little bits and you can pick it up as we go along. First I'll play and then it's your turn. <laughs>
that's the first line. Next line. Just the ending of that last line. So the fingers move a little faster on that line. And now we'll put it with the beginning of the second line. And now the whole piece. Play with me. One, two, ready, play. Good. Now let's play an A scale. So that's every note stepping up on the A string and every note on the E string. A, one, two, three, E, one, two, three. We're gonna do the whole pattern, the down little and the up little on each note. Ready? One, two, ready, fly. And you can also do the scale down the same way. We're going to we're going to go down the scale, but we'll only do half the pattern, just the down little or the up little on each note. One, two, ready, play. Shuffle bowing is a pattern of one long bow and two short bows, but in that long bow can be two short notes if we slur like this. Try that with me. One, two, ready, play. Little faster. One, two, ready, play. And even faster. One, two, ready, play. Shuffle bowing can be great fun when you mix in some slurs in there on the big bows. Colin Baton Rouge is a great example of this. You can also take just plain songs and give them a fiddle style by using the shuffle bowing. Let's see if you recognize this tune. She'll be coming around the mountain. I'm going to play the first phrase and keep my bow moving in the shuffle pattern after the first two notes. Let's see how it sounds. Pretty cool, huh? We can fancy it up a little bit, too. So you can have fun with it by throwing in extra notes. Little neighbor notes come in from, from below. Sounds a little bit like a train. And play little stepwise patterns 
and just whatever you feel like. Play around with this bowing and get comfortable with it. It's used a lot in Cajun and old-timey tunes, um, some country music as well. Uh, it just sounds like fiddle. If you enjoyed this video, click subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of my next videos. All right, see you next time.